Hey everybody, welcome back to Stronghold. Okay, so it's the beginning of day two, as I recall, and Jen's got her attackers, she's got her wood, I've got my stone wall and my two time, and Jen's gonna decide if she's gonna get any more wood. And I don't believe she is. So we're gonna, that's the end of breakfast. And so now at the end of the turn, I've got two time. And what am I gonna do with it? Oh, well, first of all, I've got another wall. Let's see. And now, here's where the catapult is. So these are the two walls that are in the most danger right now. So I should probably, and I guess I'll probably do this one because again, it's at the epicenter of these two. She's already hit here, so I'm gonna make this a little bit less pleasant. So the defense on this space is now one, two, three, four by default. The warrior is plus two, so there's a total of six here. So if Jen got a force up to here that had a, a force of greater than six, I'd be in trouble. But fortunately, I've got archers that'll be shooting at them in the ramparts before they get here. All right, so, and now, well, oh, now I've still gotta spend two time. Now, what do I wanna do with this? So I could finish up that plank, so I could put one out there somewhere. And I don't have to immediately, again, I can wait until I see where it's most necessary. So I think I'll get this finished. <clears throat> and now I could get one of these traps finished too. I could even place a trap. <sighs> and because I am worried about this stuff, there's trolls and goblins, so I should put down a troll and a goblin trap. But I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine roads I could put it on over there. And if I put it on one, I mean, I should really, if I wait a little bit, I'll have a better idea of where Jen's gonna go. But on the flip side, um, you know, I might not get a chance to do it until actually puts a bridge down. So I really should put one down now. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I think. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to build a troll trap. And so I put the third one down, which is required, and I'm going to place it immediately. I'm not going to wait. Because I don't want to miss a chance of getting out before Jen puts a bridge down. So, a troll trap is going to go where, 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 where's the trolls? Troll traps. Oh, right, no, it's because they're, um, oh, I guess I'm looking at Jen's stuff. I need to look at mine. Here's a troll trap. And, well, you know, over here I put the goblins to stop them from getting my farther flank. I'll, put, I'll stop the trolls from being able to come all the way around here and hit me at these two weaker flanks. So I'll try to focus more, by, particularly because my officer is within easy running distance of these three. So I'll try to minimize the trolls coming over here where it would take me at my officer longer to get to, if need be. So I put a troll trap over there, and that was all my time, and I put on my wall. Now I move on to the second phase, where Jen could build, and she has enough wood. No, she has five, so she can't build either of these things. She didn't get any more wood. She could build a defense. But I think she's gonna pass. She's not gonna build anything this turn, which means I get no time. We move on to step number three. And 11's is, I think she is gonna build a bridge. So she is gonna use two goblins, which gives me two time. And she's gonna build a bridge here. Okay, and so now that means, that tells me I know she wants to move. Well, I know she can't move her trolls here. So she could have moved her trolls here, here. Um, but, so now I've got two time. Oh, wait, oh, is she doing anything else? She's got more goblins and orcs. She's not gonna do anything else. Okay, so she's just gonna do that, that's it. And that gives me only two time. So now I could put my goblin trap down. Or I could, um, you know, why, I, I can always put this plank up whenever I need it. And what else am I gonna do with this stuff? And see, maybe I should start working on a cannon, because I need to get a cannon on this side, because troops are building up over here. But if I start working on a cat, I mean, should I put that trap down? Now, if I put the, I can, so I can, I, with one of my two hours, I could put a goblin trap, I could put it here. That means goblins will never come here. But goblins, and I'm never gonna be able to stop goblins or trolls from coming here now because she's put that bridge down. So if she moves goblins up here, I should probably be ready to put a goblin bridge on one of these two so it minimizes her chance. So I don't think I'm gonna make a bridge. I'm just gonna save this bridge till later, which means I'm gonna use this for something else. Um, hmm. I could do some more training and just get another soldier out, but, or I could just do a quick shot. I, I could do this, which means I could instantly kill when it comes to the shooting time. One of my archers will kill anybody, you know, that Jen has built up. Yeah, but 
I feel like I should be building up for something. Maybe a hook. I haven't done a hook yet. Now, the other thing, too, I could also, uh, I can't use this one because this is for reinforcing my gates, but there's no reason to because Jen is never going to make a battering ram, so I don't have to worry about that. But I could do this, which lets me start putting wood reinforcements on my walls so that my walls have even more defense. But the wood is very easy to destroy, but it's still more defense. But so I'm not 100% certain what Jen's plans are. So I don't understand what to come I think I'm going to get some more training. And so that archer has been replaced with a soldier. Okay, so I got another two, two. And now these guys are just waiting for me to spend time to deploy them. But since they're here in town, it only takes me one hourglass to deploy them wherever I need them in an emergency. So these guys are just standing on call, ready to be deployed if things go bad. Okay, so that was that. Now Jen moves on to here, where she could do some actions. And again, she's got plenty of workers. She can make another saboteur. I think she's going to skip. She's not going to do anything. And see, now that's important. It's a very easy trap for the invader to just try and do everything, just do lots and lots of stuff. But the more the invader does, the more I get to do. If she doesn't need any of these things, or she wants to do them later, she shouldn't do them right now, because then she gets, bleeds me, I don't get a chance to do anything. So she's skipping that. She's gonna move on to step number five, and this time she is gonna cast a spell. She's gonna sacrifice two goblins to the gods to create a, where is it? The bloodstone. And that means this turn, and you know, all the other things that Jen can create are permanent. You know, permanent bridges, permanent defenses, but the spells are temporary. So this turn, the catapult is going to be doing a blood stone, which means not only might it destroy one of my walls, but it might kill one of my guys. Now there's still only a one in three chance, but I guess she's switching over to it because there's a little bit, remember she got one of those out. There is a one in three chance now. Anyway though, in doing that she gave me two. So now maybe I should start working on this over here, but I need three because of the stupid saboteur, because that would let me put another fail card back in there, and it ups my, it lowers Jen's chances of her actually getting a hit, and her getting a moonstone hit. Yeah, I think I'll do that, why not? So I'm starting to build up with that. And uh, Jen has more, she can make a gale, she can make, but she's not gonna do either of those things. Moving on to number six, she is now, I think she's gonna give me three because she's gonna be moving five people around, okay. And now what's she gonna do? She's got, first of all, there's nobody on the ramparts, so that doesn't happen. She can move these up, she can move these up. She is not going to, she is gonna leave them where they are. And now she gets to move five into position. She is going to move these five into here. And now this area is full. She can't move anything more until she moves some of these guys into the rampart area, which means they will come under fire from my archers. And she is gonna move these three orcs over here. She could put these other two goblins here, but instead she's going to bank them. And it won't give me any more time because it's two. She's going to bank them and save them for next turn. And in doing that, that means, you know, when I shoot with my cannon, that I have a one in three chance of failing because in, or no, one in, a two in five chance of failing because one of them is the failure card, the miss, and one of them is the one that only hits goblins. So since there's no goblins in here, I only have a three in five chance of actually successfully hitting anything with my, so that's why she didn't put the goblins out, or at least that's why I assume. Okay, but she gave me three more time, so now these are my last three hours before Jen starts, before the shooting starts, basically. Now then. So I think I will put one more out, which means I've successfully sabotaged one of Jen's siege engines, and I will put it right back in this thing where she'd put her bloodstone, so it's gonna lower the chance of her hitting me again. So that's one, I've got two more. Now, I still don't have to worry about, I don't, okay, I guess I do a little bit. Wait, no, 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 no. Um, I don't have to worry about anybody hitting my walls. If Jen had chosen the fiver and the sevener, she, she, you saw how she moved some fives up? She could have moved some fives to a rampart, and then she could have moved more. She has definitely chosen to keep everybody. She's just building up for a bigger assault later, so I don't have to worry about anybody hitting my walls, which means I don't have to worry about shifting anybody around. I don't have to save these so that I could do a last-minute deploy because Jen cannot get to my walls. So I should really spend these on ways that will help me without having to defend my walls. So what do I want to do? That means I'm not going to bother putting the plank out yet. I could get the trap out, but she hasn't moved anybody yet. So I still don't know where I should put that goblin trap. I'm going to wait on that. <sighs> I can move these guys, which means I could start doing some more training. I can move a soldier down so I could do a, a training. Heck, maybe that's what I should do. I think, yeah, I think I will. Since I'm less worried about um, the walls being hit, I am going to spend one of these to move a soldier off the wall, because I'm not worried about the wall. 
Oh, in fact, actually, yeah. Even though I've made this less likely, Jen might still kill one of my guys. I don't want to take the chance of her killing this guy. So I'm paying a, what you call it, a, a hourglass to move him down over here so the next turn I'll have to move this guy out but then I can train to get another veteran and that means if Jen's Moonstone actually succeeds all she'll do is she'll kill one of my archers which are my weakest guys so I, I will be less painful to lose that. So that was one of my two time to, um, to withdraw this guy to safety. Hmm. Now this Ballista could still hit although it's still, I mean it hasn't, I mean, you know, it's, it's unlikely to hit but Jen could actually start hitting these soldiers too. Do I want to move them out of the way so they are safe from being hit by the ballista? I mean, last time she went over here. If she continues to just like focus her fire here, I don't have to worry about these soldiers. You know, but maybe she's going to mix it up. Um, now, currently, um, all my walls are. I mean, I could move this soldier over here, but then that's just going to be in the same spot. So I'll, there's really no place to move this soldier on the wall. So I could, I, I can't move over here because this space is full. The only place I can move him, I can move him over here so he's here in the courtyard ready to move and be deployed anywhere really, really quick. Because here's the thing. Um, moving, uh, like say if I want to move this archer, I can move him here although it's full. I can move him here although it's full. Or here or here. Or to the courtyard. Those are all my one hourglass moves. If I need to move him all the way over to the other side or down here, it would require two hourglass. One to get him to the courtyard and then one to get him over here. So the same thing is true for this guy. If I needed to, if these people start making a move really fast, I might need to move, I might need to get more people over here quick. So, now I could actually, instead of moving this guy, I could move my, you know, my warrior. So he's in a position to create more defense on any side very, very quickly. So I could be preparing for later. But he's in no danger of getting shot by that ballista. This guy is, I think I will. I'm just going to try and call some guys back to safety just on the off chance Jen hits me with a ballista. Okay, so those are my two actions. And um, that's it. Now, Jen doesn't have to give me any more time because of the camp, so we move on to fighting. My, uh, my cannon fires first. Where was it? It's over here. And I'm going to shoot over here again because Jen hasn't moved to the ramparts. i got to shuffle some more. And I am not going to get a miss two times in a row, because that would be insane. That's just not going to happen. Right? Hey, I did. I, well, I didn't get a miss, but all I can kill with this shot is goblins. There are no goblins over there. So for all intents and purposes, I did a miss. Jen was wise to bank these guys rather than put them out there, because one of them would have died. So my cannon so far is 0 for 2. Alrighty, now it's moving on to Gen Siege Machines. She'll start with this thing and with the bloodshot. And I um, guess she'll just hit this wall again. And if she hits, not only will she take one of these out, but she'll kill my archer. But again, remember, I made this, I made this tougher to kill. I put a, another failure state in here. So it's back to the original only two and seven chance. Alrighty, so we shuffled a bit. Let's see what we get. Boom, it's a miss, okay. So, no problem. The bloodshot, basically, it was wasted. These goblins were sacrificed for nothing because the bloodshot failed, and it comes back over here, and Jen missed. Now, although it's not all bad news for her. Obviously, again, she's weeding this deck out, so it'll be more powerful later. And these goblins um, can go towards the 12 goblin sacrifice that's needed for Jen to earn a victory point. So we'll worry about that in a second. All right, so now she's got to do her ballista. Dee, dee, dee. And I think this one's gotten to be a little bit better shot, hasn't it? Because it, no, 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 it, it actually scored a hit last turn. So it's still, it's regular two and seven. And what's it get? A miss. So now it's a one and three, a two and six. All righty, so both her things missed. And now archers, once again, my archers cannot shoot all the way over there. If I had taken this, what do you call it? What, what's it called? The, um, if I had gone to my church, I could have spent two. And maybe I should have done that. Instead of pulling my guys back like I did, I could have spent two over here, which would have given me the, what's it called? The marksman blessing, which means all marksmen that are not in a fight could have um, fired at, oh, oh, it just, oh, it doesn't let them, I thought it actually let them shoot all the way to the battle right. I guess it just lets them get to any rampart. So it's not quite as good as I thought. Let me double check that. I thought it lets you shoot anywhere. Marksman Blessing. 
Fire any rampart. Okay, so it wasn't quite that good, since again, nobody's on the ramparts, so I don't get to shoot. Jen still has no goblin archer, she doesn't shoot, there's no melee. The second day is done. So again, I've survived another day, I've earned another point, and Jen has lost another point. And, so we clear out all the stuff, these guys stay, these guys don't go to the discard pile, they come over here to start collecting. When Jen has sacrificed 12 goblins, she will score a point. So that's why, I mean, heck, she should have done it on the first turn too, because why not? I mean, she would have lost a couple goblins, but she'd be closer to getting that point. And maybe she would have gotten a kill. All right, so but these other ones, they are just removed, and um, all of my completed things are removed. These are completed, so I can do more traps. And what else did I complete? Uh, I completed those, but these guys, I have to actually use time to move them away. So that's what I completed. I've taken my turn. We are on to day number three. Is that right? And... Yep, okay. So day number three. Once again, I start getting a time and another wall. No problems. Jen gets five more wood. So now she didn't use any last turn, but now she's got ten. So she can do a really big build this turn. And let's see, what's she going to get? Fourteen more... Monsters. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No trolls, but wow, an army of orcs. Okay. All righty. And now, her first choice before we move on is is she going to give up one of those orcs or one of those goblins to get some more lumber? And I think the answer to that question is 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 no she is not okay which means okay it's my turn now i've got two time and another stone wall to put out i guess i'll put the stone wall here well so, uh, I, I, I really should spread this around a little bit more i mean okay i've got a stone wall here and a stone wall here now I gotta think, where's Jenica? I mean, the stone walls are good for anything, any place where she might want to come at me. Now she has stated, she's put this bridge here. So that means she is planning, or she wants to keep her options open, she can move up here. So maybe I should put a stone wall on one of these two. Yeah, what the heck, I'll put a stone wall on this. Okay, to, uh, you know, protect, to protect these areas a little bit more. And now I've got two time I can spend. Hmm. And many, many things, but Jen still hasn't given me enough information to be, you know, she's really playing coy. She's, you know, keeping her cards close to her vest. But now, let's see, so I could get another goblin trap out. I could, maybe I need to move these guys so that I can start doing some more training. You know what I think I want? I think I want another cannon. I want to get a cannon on this side of the wall so I can start shooting at these guys. I think I, I, another cannon is going to be nice, but it's going to take me a while to build it. Okay. All right, so that was my turn. Now Jen moves on to here. Is she going to spend some wood? Yes, she is. She is going to spend four wood. One, two, three, four. And she's going to give up one goblin, or I'm sorry, orc, which means I get one time. And she is going to build a barricade. And she is going to put it here. And now it's very obvious to me what she's planning to do. Here's what's going on. Because she has built a bridge here, she can move. I will never be able to prevent her from moving stuff to this barracks or this uh, rampart. And this barricade means anything, any of the seven guys I can put in this area cannot be shot at by my archers. Archers. So that means Jen is definitely planning to move forces up here and then hide behind this barricade so she'll be able to make a bum rush up here. So it's a good thing I put my wall here, but now I know this is a much, this area is probably my biggest at-risk area, even more than here where she's firing for two. So, Right, and she gave me one. One time is not enough, to, not enough to do much. But wait, but is she doing anything else? She still got six. She could build another ballista or another um, catapult, but she is not going to. She is done. She passes, which gave me one time. With this one time, I could keep on working on my cannon, or I could finish my goblin trap. Now, it's too late for me to put the goblin trap here, so the goblins will be able to get here. But I could put the goblin trap here or here, so even if they get here, there's only one of these two places they'd be able Okay, I'm going to build a goblin trap. So, I'm going to put a marker, indicate it's done. I'm going to put another goblin trap out. This area is a little bit more defended, so I'm going to put it here. So goblins can never bum rush here. I know Jen is going to put goblins here. She's probably going to put an archer thing here so they'll shoot. Which is, oh, which is actually really bad. If she starts doing that... Oh. 
I need to start pulling these archers out because she is about to, I, well, we'll see, we'll see. I've used my one time, moving on. Jen gets over here and as predicted, Jen is going to spend an orc and create an archery. And she's gonna train it right here. Now, any goblin that is at this barricade, Rampart can shoot at the archers in these two zones. So these two archers are in grave peril right now because Jen will be able to move these goblins up. I can't stop her. I can't shoot at them. They'll be able to, I mean, she can move all four of these goblins up and take out all four of my archers. Let's see now, Jen used one. She gave me one time. I need to pull those archers out because they're about to die. Unless this is all a bluff. Jen could be setting all this stuff up just to make me pull my archers out and then she does something completely different. So that's a little scary, but anyway. I've got one time, what am I gonna do? And it's almost, the, the, the day is almost up. Wait, wait, well first of all, I didn't think, is she going to use some more guys? I think she is, she is gonna use two. She wants to improve the shot ratio on that catapult. So she's gonna put this thing, she hasn't done it before, she takes, she could take uh, two orcs or three goblins, she's taking two orcs, and she gets to put another hit card into this. So now she's upped her chance of hitting with that catapult. Which gave me two more time. Okay, why am I holding on to this? I don't know. I must have put that there by accident. Or I must have just holding on to it. Okay. And if she has enough work, she can put another saboteur in the house. I think she will. Why not? She's going crazy. She's giving me a lot of time, but she's putting a lot of troubles in for me. So she's putting another saboteur, and she is going to put that saboteur over here. So she is gonna slow down my means of training. Now, these guys are already trained, but it's gonna slow down my any future training I wanna do and kinda of gum up this works. Unless I use the, uh, the, the town guard to take, now I've got two saboteurs. It might be more worth my while to spend three time and lose a, an archer to take out these two saboteurs. But in the meantime, this is gonna slow down my training. Okay, so anyway, so she did that, but she gave me a lot of time. There's nothing more she can do. She's done all those actions. And uh, now it's my turn, and now I can spend a little bit more time planning and preparing. First of all, two more, and boom. I am gonna build me a cannon. Cannon, cannon, cannon. And I will put it here, because th this spot means I've I, it can shoot at all the ramparts, and finally I can start shooting at this stuff that's back there. So that's good, and now I've got three more. And Jen's kind of regretting having given me all this time. But let's see, what else am I gonna do? All right, I was gonna pull back, just in case, I'm gonna pull back these archers. I'm gonna spend all three of these, and I'm gonna pull back these two archers to save, oh, I'm actually, I'm instead of pulling them back to, the, I'm gonna put them over here so they can start training. Although that unfortunately means it's gonna be more expensive to train these guys in the future. So that was, yeah, those are my other two. I had, did I use them all up? I guess I must have. It was one, it was two, three. Didn't I have one, two, three, four, five? Where'd my other two time go? Oh dear. Alrighty, let's think about this. Jen definitely gave me five time. I did these two. I this. How many did I have to do on this? Uh, well, I've totally forgotten now. I think I might have accidentally not given myself two time. Arg, 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 arg. Well, all right. I'm pretty sure I didn't, I'm taking two. No, 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 I remember, I did see them all down here. I saw I had a whole bunch of time, so I've already lost track of what I used them for, but I'm sure I used them legally. Okay, so moving on. Now, Jen is going to go sacrifice two more goblins. Once again, she's gonna go for the bloodstone, and that gives me two more time. I'm still worried about those, those archers moving up and killing my archers, because that's the thing. If this barricade wasn't here, here, Jen moved her goblins up here. My archers would get to shoot first and whittle her down, and then she would shoot back. But because of this, I can't shoot first. So like I said, my archers are sitting ducks. But if I pull all my archers out, she might not even move her archers up, she might move her trolls up and actually start trying to hit me hard. So that's really scary. But whatever, she's gonna give me more time when she moves. So I am not gonna, no, no, but I don't know if she's going to move yet. So I'm going to use these two times because when she gives me more time, I can use them to move these guys out and move other guys around if I need to. So what am I going to do with this last two time? Um, I'm going to move 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna hedge my bets and just be on the safe side. I'm gonna spend one of it to move this veteran up here, just in case Jen tries to make a move. And with my last guy, gosh, I am halfway tempted, I have to admit, to, um, you know, when I get another time, take a pot shot and just kill one of her guys straight out. You know, kill one of her goblins, kill one of her trolls. I am tempted. But, now, oh, now I was talking about this before. Right now, my archers, this archer can only shoot to this space, I think. Oh, I could move some archers up onto balconies. That'd be kind of nice. But like I said, these archers won't be able to shoot. Well, no, 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 I'm not going to mess with that. Um, start building another trap, but there's not enough time. I think... I think I'm going to pull another archer out. And put him over here in training, because I can. Maybe I'll train him, maybe I won't. I'm going to pull another archer out. And then when I get some more time, I'm going to move this guy up, in case I need him. Okay, so only one archer is truly in peril, although maybe I'll even get him out. Alrighty, so that was the time I got from her thing, and now Jen is going to choose whether she moves 5x, 7x, or both. Let's see, so now she has left a whole bunch of orcs that she will be able to move onto the field. She's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. She can put 5 into this area. She can't put any into this area. But remember, she can move out before she moves in. So now what is she going to do? I'm having to think for her now. What does she want to do? Well, I guess she's going to do the 5 move at the very least. Or maybe she'll do the 7 move. No, she'll just do the 5 move. So that gives me 3 hours. And now let's actually start moving. And now she's actually going to leave. Well, she can't put anything else over here unless she moves these guys out. So she's going to do that. And... Hmm... Now see, here's the interesting thing. She was planning on moving these archers up here, where they'd be totally safe, they'd be able to shoot. But now, she can, her archers can only shoot at my archers. They can't shoot at the tougher guys. So this is now less attractive to her because I pulled back. That was her plan, but I pulled back, so I kind of messed that up. And here's the tricky thing. She moves them up here anyway. On my next turn, before she gets a chance to move them the rest of the way, I might take my three time and um, build another goblin trap so the goblins would be trapped here. They would never be able to move up the rest of the way. The goblins would spend the rest of the game trapped here, never being able to move. So now she's a little bit, you know, she probably wants to build another bridge before she moves them up. She kind of tipped her hand here a little bit. So now it's less exciting to move those guys up. But by the same token, by pulling all these out, she's made this area less powerful. But remember, she's going to have three. She can move stuff back up. Or I'm sorry, I can move stuff back up. What's more interesting is, she didn't pull this archer out. And she didn't pull this archer out. So I think she's going to do something else. Okay, with her five, she can move five into any of these spaces from, from this group of ten. She's going to move two goblins here. Is that right? Let me think about this for a second. No. She's going to move three goblins here. And they are totally unprotected. Oh, but they don't have the thi this thing. Right, okay, no. I was thinking she'd put the goblins here and then she'd shoot at them, but this is the only place goblins can shoot from. <sighs> That's the interesting thing. Even if she moves goblins over here, say she only moves two goblins here, and this go these goblins never get to move forward because I put the thing here, these goblins pretty much guarantee that Jen will never move archers into this space again. Because if she ever did, they would get shot down by mine. And that makes this a hole that is exploitable because Jen will never be able... Well, she's got this cannon, but she'll never be able to do any kind of significant... So this becomes a good staging area to punch these two things. And having a couple goblins here isn't bad just to pick off archers if they decide to show up. Or just to keep the archers out. So that's interesting. Now, this barricade, by the way, does not protect from the cannon. Let's see. Now, I think she is definitely going to move. This is her main plan. She wanted to move a big group 
of trolls all at once, a big group of five. And the reason for that is because she gets a bonus point if she ever has, I think it's four trolls in any one space on my wall. Or I'm sorry, yeah, she does. What is it? It's the, where is it? The troll attack. Four trolls on any one wall section scores her a point. Twelve goblins sacrifice scores her a point. Seven walls simultaneously under siege, having me the guys, scores her a point. And if she ever takes down two of my walls, you know, it doesn't have to be at the same time. It could be one after the other. She gets a point. So she's definitely bringing, she wants to bring up a bunch of trolls so she can ultimately earn that point and put the fear of God into me because five trolls at my wall is the equivalent of 15 damage. She could win the game. She could overrun everything with that. Now she can't move the trolls here because I put the troll trap. And this is the place she'd really like to move them because it's far away from everything. It would take her hero two to get over here. But she can't move the trolls up there. So I think she's gonna move her trolls up here because they cannot be archered. So they are gonna be in the next turn, they are gonna move up hard. And I guess, yeah, she, um, oh, but that's all five. That's the only five she can move. So that means she can't move these archers up. If she had taken the seven, you know what, she's gonna take the seven, which gives me two more hours. She's, she's gonna move seven guys up here. Okay, and now, Let's see, so she can still move these three or she can leave them so they can be part of a big, uh, big uh, group later. She can move them over here. And now that's interesting. Well, if she moves them over here, these two archers will shoot. These archers will do two. They'll take out turn and then one will be left. And that one could move up in the future. But now she's just gonna leave them there. Okay, but anyway, she can move seven. Now she's got five over here. I think she's gonna move all five. Now these guys are gonna be sitting ducks. They, can, they do not have any protection because you didn't put any barriers up. But she does want to start hitting. And, but she wants to go to a place where there will be a minimum amount of damage. She's, I've got all these archers. And you know, every archer does plus one. So if she moves them to this rampart, these archers, and this archer and this archer, there'd be five archers that could shoot at them. They'd chop them down. So she doesn't want to move them up here. She moves them over here. There's one, two, three, four archers. Doesn't want to move them there. She's going to move them over here. And, you know, she did a move of seven, so she could move all five of them. Um, right. So she's got five of them over here. And now there's one, two, three archers. So three damage could be done. And so she might take out my troll or um, three of my, three of my uh, goblins. It'll probably just be the troll. The troll will be the sacrificial, which means these orcs live on. Because there's only three damage. But remember, she could move more archers over there. So she could take out even more. But by doing that, she's putting her forces over there, which, or I'm sorry, I'm putting my forces over there, which maybe means I'm leaving stuff over here because now I've got to worry about two places. So this could just be an expedition force. She doesn't care about losing them. She's just doing this to make me spread out. Anyway, she's done it. And now, um, so all the ramparts... The ramparts have move up, but the two staging areas have moved, and now she can bring more guys out. She's going to bring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over there. So now there's a whole bunch more orcs that are going to follow this one. Okay, because she made seven. And now I've got five actions I can do to push this stuff off. Now, if she wanted, before it goes on, actually, it's interesting. Maybe she should. Maybe she should. All my careful planning, what the heck? She's going to throw caution to the wind. Um, I, this is going to be, my video is getting long. I want to give you guys some excitement. She is going to, she's already spent five to move those seven. She's going to spend three more, giving me three more time to prepare. And now she gets to move again. She gets to do five moves. And here come the five. Um, one, two, three, four. Because only four trolls can, oh, well, okay. It has to be, yeah, four trolls on the wall. That's what she needed to score her point. Four trolls have moved up there. And she got five more. So she can move these guys up, or she can keep them there in safety so they can hit later. I think so. And that's what she's gonna do. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ah, no. She's gonna move up three trolls for reasons that will become obvious in a minute. By the way, what is it? Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Uh, and this is nine. So right now I'm at nine, Jen's at six. So she's gonna have to move some stuff over here or else she loses the game. She will have to put some protection there. Because right now I'm at nine and she's at six. Right.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is she gonna move these other ones up here? Maybe she will. Why not? Because that's six. The defense here is one, two, three, four, five, six. So these two fighting each other stand still. But this guy gives plus one. So if this guy stays here, she will be able to defeat these orcs. Which means he won't be able to come over here to help with this fight. So, yeah, she's putting the pressure to me. In fact, what the heck, she's going to put one more. Okay. So that's a total of uh, six, seven. Which means one, two, three, four, five, six. But this, okay, I'm sorry, this is eight. So she will do one point of damage if this guy stays here. But then this nine will be overrun and she'll lose the game right here. So she has, but she'll probably move her hero over here, which will take her two, because that hero will add two more. And she'll probably finish, yeah, okay. But anyway, it's still, it's mixing things up. It's gonna be interesting. It's definitely gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the smartest. I mean, this is where, this game does get kind of math because there's no dice rolling. Everything is deterministic. You know, and Jen should spend some more time, but she's just making a big move right now. So I can uh, go out with like a really exciting, so you guys can see all the rest of the systems. Okay, so anyway, so, um, you know, basically each one of the walls can have five more move up. These ones are done. Let's see, are these guys gonna move up? Yes, they are. They're gonna push on. Now they could keep on moving over here, but they're gonna push up onto this wall. All of them. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a big hard hit. Jen is being hit on multiple angles. It's gonna to be tough. I don't know, I don't know heck, maybe, she, maybe she's doomed. Maybe she doesn't have enough, but she's got a lot of time to prepare. A lot of time to adjust. Enough time to, oh, whoops. Did she train? I haven't taken these out. These have already been trained. So she would have enough time to train somebody else. Should have taken, I should have moved these out a while ago. So she probably might train a veteran, try to move them. She's got a lot of time, but worry about her response in a second. So she's moved these fives up, five up. Now there's nobody else who can move, but now she can move more. She's gonna move one, two, three, four, five of these guys over here again. Yeah, what the heck, over here. Leaving these two behind. And she can move these guys up. Yeah, she's gonna move, it's gonna be a big push. She's moving everything up. And again, this is a bit early. Doing this in the second turn is probably a net negative. Even though I mean, it's gonna put me on my heels really bad, usually it's a good idea to not move a, do a really big move like this until the third or the fourth turn. But it'll be interesting. So Jen has done a big double move. She's on three of my walls. Oh, well no, it was, she'd have to be on seven of my walls to score that point. But she's on three of my walls. She's gonna fire at my walls twice. She's got one archer who could actually shoot at this guy because I didn't pull him out. So this guy's gonna die from this archer if I don't do something about him. A lot of interesting things. But now, she's done. It's my turn. Oh wait, oh wait, these guys in the camp. She should have moved these guys in as well. So, forgot about them. She's gonna move these guys over here so we're gonna have more archers in the future. Okay, that's it, she's done. She's giving me a lot. Oh, wait, no, 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 she's not done. There's one more thing she can do. Yeah, in fact, she is gonna give me one more time because here's the last thing. I'm gonna show you guys everything. After she does all her movement, she can also issue orders to the people that are on the walls. She has five orders she can give out. Two of them are blanks. Two of them are bluffs. But three of them are quite nasty. This one, she puts this out, it lets her call another troll up. If she puts this one out, it lets goblins go into a frenzy and they do three times the damage, but then they'll die at the end. If she puts this one out, trolls will explode and blow up walls. So, and now she can do this two ways. She can put a single one out, face up, and it doesn't give me an hourglass. But instead, she can pay me one hourglass. So she's going to, she's gonna pay one hourglass. She can now put out as many as she wants and they're face down. So I don't know what they are. And what that means is, actually when she was moving up, she um, left this troll down here. Forgot. Okay, just think about this a little bit more. And she is gonna put an order on one of these walls, which means she's going to be able to call that troll up. Alrighty. And, okay. So anyway, she's gonna be able to put down three orders, or she's gonna be able to put down one, two, three. There's three walls that have orders on them. She's gonna be able to put down three of her five orders, and I won't know what they are until the siege starts. And see, the thing is, I can cancel one of them, so I won't be able to cancel all of them. So, I'm just gonna do that. Nah. You know, yeah, instead, she moved the, this extra goblin up. Oh. 
I've lost track. She only moved two goblins up. You know what? She had moved... Um, no, those, mo those goblins came in at the end. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So she'd move that goblin up instead. But that means the goblin will be able to shoot. So she didn't want to do that. She's still planning what her big turn is. So she left that goblin to shoot at this guy if he's still there. She left this guy so he can be summoned if he's needed. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So. Okay, time for orders. She's putting that order down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm having to do a lot of math now. For two players. Yeah, okay. Just putting this order down. Putting this order down. And she's putting this order down. Okay. All right. Which means two orders she hasn't put down. These might be the bluffs. These might be important things. I don't know. Now she has, uh, she has truly done it. She's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours I get to prepare now. Or maybe they're half hours. I don't know. Um... Yeah, let's, let's see. They're 10 hourglasses. And I got a lot of things to figure out now. Yikes. Okay. So here's the things I have to think about. This could be a goblin explode, which means she could... I mean, okay, first of all, I know for a fact I'm going to spend two of these canceling one of the orders. But here's my problem. I want to cancel this because this means she could have these goblins... She could have two of these goblins explode, which would take down both of my walls. Very scary. I want to take down this because it's probably bringing up this third troll so she'll have a total attack strength of 12 here, which means I have to put a lot of defense here, otherwise she might breach the wall. Because I have to put 12 defense if she's gonna bring 12 offense there. But I want to take this one out because this one could be a, this could be either a troll, so she could summon this troll here or here, I don't know, or this could be the goblin frenzy, which means this guy goes from a 1-1 um, one -one to a 3-1. And that's very dangerous, because that means there's six. Now, that's a little bit less dangerous, but I don't know. That's the thing. This could be the troll, which means there'd be um, three, four, five, six, or there'd be seven damage here, which this wall can take right now, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. But remember, this archer is going to kill this guy if he doesn't get pulled out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then one because of the guy who increases the morale. So she has to either pay more time on him or... But remember, if there's 12 here, she pretty much has to move the officer down here and have him do a lot of rousing speeches to be able to stop this attack from happening. Which, But then, if I move the troll over here, that means there's suddenly um, seven at this point, and she has to, you know, but... Oh, so... Oh my gosh, I've really created quite the conundrum for myself. So I gotta figure out which of those three orders I'm gonna cancel. Because remember, I can only do one canceling a year. So that's gonna be tough. And then I've still got eight more to spend. Okay, well first of all, I am definitely gonna build a platform. Because I need to have more defense. I need to, let's see, jeepers, creepers, peepers, oh my gosh. So I gotta put this platform someplace. Now, I guess I'm most worried about her bringing the troll up here. I think, I think I'm going to cancel this order because I do not want both of these walls. Wait, actually, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or no, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. She has brought eleven power to this wall. And right now there's one, two, three, four defense. And here's the way it works. If I, um, if, if I do more damage than Jen, if Jen does more damage than me in a melee, then I gotta lose some troops. Otherwise, she's gotta lose some troops. And if she lose, if she can't lose enough troops to absorb all the damage, the rest of the damage goes through, the wall is breached, and the game is over. So this is a huge problem for her. She's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And right now she only got six. So she needs to get some more defense on this wall. Now, fortunately. She's got two soldiers she can move around. She's got her two heroes. She can put some more archers if she needs to. So I think she's going to put the platform over here. But now here's the thing. If I blow up these two guys, they're gone. So that's, two le that's four less offense. 
So that's four less offense. Now I'm suddenly coming here with three, four, five, six, seven. But he'll, she'll take out both the walls. So I've got two less. So it's a net, I mean, basically, if she blows both of these up, even though I lose my walls, I get plus two on defense. So I don't, it's, as crazy as I think I don't mind, I think I'm gonna let her blow up that wall, assuming this isn't a bluff. Because if it's a bluff, and I, you know, and I, and I, and I let it through, and I think that she's only gonna do, um, if I, I think she's gonna blow these up, and so now there's only, so I only put enough defense over here to protect that, but then it's a bluff, she'll crush me and she'll win. So I can't be sure whether that's blowing up the goblins. Oh my gosh, I've created a real tough problem for myself here. Meanwhile, over here, if, if this is a troll, that means there's uh, six, there's seven hitting this wall. One, two, three, and it could be, so there's either seven hitting this wall, or if this is the goblin thing, there's six hitting this wall. There's six or seven hitting this wall. This is an e easier thing to solve. Let's look at this one. So. There's six or seven hitting this wall. There are three walls, so that's three of them. So I gotta absorb another three or four. Now I'm gonna have to pull this guy out. Let's, I just don't wanna lose a guy. This guy is a guaranteed goner. The archer will get him. So I'm gonna have to spend one to pull him to safety. Although actually, maybe not. I shouldn't pull him to safety. I should put him someplace else where he's useful. I'm gonna move him What's well, gonna take me two though. So I was gonna say, I wanna move him over here because then he could be shooting at these guys off in the distance, but it would take me two hourglasses to move him here and here. Jeepers, oh my goodness. Huh, wow. Now I could take a chance. I could shoot this cannon here and there's a very good chance that I'd be able to take this archer out. If my cannon, and my cannon has a four out of five shot of killing this goblin, and then this guy is safe, so maybe I should keep him. I can trust that my cannon will take this guy out. But, okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave him there, that's a gamble. And I assume my cannon will save him. Okay, yikes. So anyway, I'm still looking at six or seven here. And th three of it's gonna be absorbed, so there's three or four that's gonna get through. So this guy stays, so that's three or four. That's um, one or two still. This guy would be one. So all I gotta do is move one guy up here. So I'm gonna spend one, and I'm gonna move this guy who was previously in the courtyard up here. So now I've got a total defense of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Se eight, maybe seven if this guy dies. So it's a bit of a gamble. I'm gambling that this, cr cr weird, I really want this cannon to take the, the big tough guy out. But, but that's it, if it takes the big tough guy out, then he can't be called up. Wow. Okay, so anyway, I'm, but I'm doing that, I'm bringing another guy up there. Now I've still got one, two, three, four, five. And I've still got a wall to put someplace, and I've still got to put somebody at that wall. Now I've got this guy waiting. So I'm gonna pay another to move him up someplace. I'm gonna move him up here, so that I've got strong defense against all these orcs. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right now. So my nine ties her nine, so we're at equilibrium. If I just move one thing over here, then um, like you know, say this soldier that's waiting for training, if I put this here, and then, um, and then I spend another time to move him up here, then I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, versus Jen's nine. But if Jen brings the troll up here, it's 12, and I'll still take one damage, which means I'll lose a guy. But again, this could be a bluff. Cheapers. But I am gonna do that. So I paid one to move him up. Okay, so now I've got three left. Three time. I could spend two more, train an archer into another soldier and move a soldier up where I need him. But okay, I'm gonna, oh wait, but the other thing too, I gotta decide whether I'm gonna move this guy here or here. And also, this guy is doing nothing. He's not helping. So he, I'm definitely gonna spend one to move this warrior over here to add plus two on this wall. Right, I, I've been, I forgot all about this wall. I gotta figure out this wall now. I got two more left. And right now my defense is one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six. The warrior gives a default six. If I put a timer on him, if I, if I spend one of my remaining two, I could immediately have him kill any one of these, so I could have him kill that troll. 
So that's one time to kill a level three. That's a pretty good return, I think. Oh, no, 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 I have to give up more. Um, the, if I have him fight, I have to, uh, he heals a goblin for one, I'd have to give him two, three to kill. So I'm not gonna give him one. But still, he's adding plus two. So I've got a value of two, three, four, five, six over here. And see, if only I had a cauldron, I've never built any cauldrons. If I built a cauldron, I could be killing one guy instantly. Oh, and I, okay. So I haven't decided which, which um, wish I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna hope, actually, that this is an explosion because this gives Jen, uh, even though I lose the walls, which is terrible, but it gives me, it, it gives her two less on offense because she'll have killed four damage worth of orcs. So I'm not gonna cancel that one. So coming back over here, Now, if I cancel this one, actually, okay, take that time back. I'm not going to move the warrior over here. Because if I cancel this one, then nothing changes. I know exactly what's happening here. So I'm going to cancel this one. Okay. And I don't get to know what it is. I just know I canceled something. So I still don't know what the other things are. So now, now the best this could ever be is um, one, two, three, four. And, uh, you know, this wall can't be breached. Because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In fact... This wall is totally safe. So I think I'm going to spend two, one, two, and I'm going to move this guy to the courtyard and then over here, where I'm worried about my biggest, where I've got my biggest problem. Because this guy, I can spend one, and now he makes everybody who's here. Right now, these guys are, are um, two ones, but now because I've done this, they're three ones. So I've got six, seven, eight. And if these guys blow up, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's used all my time. Yikes. And I honestly, I think I probably got mixed up at some point. I probably spent some time wrong or whatever. But still, that gives you an idea of what a siege day is like. Jen gave me a lot of time. I've used it up. I'm taking some gambles. I'm taking some uh, risks. And now it's time to fight. Get ready, folks. Here we go. Now, like always, first of all, my cannons fire. Then Jen's siege engines fire. So let's do this. Okay. Um, my cannons fire. I'll have this guy fire first. And I am not going to have him fire over there. I could have him fire over here. Actually, I should, shouldn't I? Well, here's, I mean, right now, these archers, I'm going to have these two archers, if this guy survives. Yeah, no, these two archers are going to fire over here. So two of these guys are going to die. But the other one's going to live. Oh, but wait, that's not true. This guy can't fire because there's somebody at the wall. If there's somebody at the wall, he can't shoot anymore. So these archers can't fire. So, okay, this archer's gonna fire. I'm gonna take out one of these two. So my cannon can take out the other one, because otherwise, I'm gonna leave two guys who are gonna move up on next turn. But I'm gonna leave that. I'm more concerned about this. I'm gonna have my cannon fire here and try to minimize the damage up there. And so I gotta shuffle. That's enough. And I draw, and okay, it's anything. So, I was gonna take out the goblin. Okay, this is tough. Oh no, it's not tough. I'm gonna take out this troll. This troll is dead. And Jen's very sad about that because she was hoping this troll was going to get a chance to move up and give her the four troll thing. She probably should have just done that, but she really wanted to mess with me on the, all the other stuff. So but I got lucky and killed that troll with that cannon. Now, my other cannon is going to fire, so I got to shuffle. My other cannon is going to fire. At this group that's waiting to move up and it's a miss, my third miss. This cannon, I think, is a dud. All right, so we're done with that. Now, Jen's siege engines get to fire. Uh, first of all, she'll do her ballista. And we got a shuffle. Remember, I think this is still a 2-7. Uh, or no, it's a 2-6, I think. All right. So this ballista can fire here or here. And what the heck, I guess it'll fire here, because it's really starting to wear this guy down. Um, so it's going to fire here. And it's a miss, so it just gets a little bit better for later. Now my, or sorry, Jen's, it's very schizophrenic in this video. Jen's um, pumped up and sabotaged and improved at the same time, catapult with the bloodshot. And that bloodshot's very, very bad. If that bloodshot lands here, but anyway. So normally she's always been shooting here, but she's gonna shoot over here now because it could take out a wall and one of my defenders. I could be in really big trouble here, really big trouble. Because I haven't really done all the math as well as I should have. But anyway, so we're gonna fire. It doesn't matter, it's gonna be a miss though. It's totally gonna be a miss, totally gonna be a miss, totally gonna be, it's a miss, oh my gosh, so good. Alrighty, now the bloodstone's gone. 
And again, this is a more dangerous thing later. Okay, heavy artillery is done. Now we move on to archers. Archers get to shoot. Finally, my archers get to shoot at something. Well, kind of. These ones don't because they're all tied up in combat. These ones don't because they, um, or can they? I forget. See, this, this is the weirdest part of the board. There's this whole thing about not being able to shoot across. In fact, actually, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check my cheat sheet. I'll be right back. Dee, 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 dee. Thank you for your patience. This is probably the most boring stretch of video you've ever seen me do. Alrighty, but it'll be cool. It's worth it. I actually downloaded this the other day because this is probably the greatest player aid you'll, for any game you'll ever find on BoardGameGeek. It's a little PowerPoint that somebody did that lets you see exactly where all the different classes, where they can shoot and where they can't. And as you can see down here, you know, there's, this is where the gap is. Different guys can or can't see how this guy can't shoot over here because of this gap. But anyway, we're looking the other way. So we're looking at these archers. The, oh no, that's the firing arcs for cannons. So yeah, no, these archers can shoot there. So the archers on the castle are up high and they can shoot across this gap, but the archers down here cannot shoot up. Okay, so this guy gets to shoot over here. These guys do not. Now here's the thing, this guy, so he's shooting at this area all by himself. Nobody's helping him. So that means he does one damage. It comes down here, and unfortunately for me, the damage rounds up. So even though these guys all take two, I get to kill one um, because I rounded that one up to two. So there's now there's only four there instead. So that archer got to fire. This archer would like to fire, but he's kind of tied up. This archer would like to fire, but I'm pretty sure, yep, he does not get to fire all the way over there. And um, what about the guys in the tower? I put some guys in the tower, didn't I? You no, know, these archers over there, no, they don't get to either. So these archers can't fire either. Coming over here, this archer can't fire because he's engaged. This archer has nobody to fire at. This archer gets to fire. He's going to fire. He takes out one of the goblins. Okay, so my archers are done. Now it's Jen's archer turn. And I took a gamble on this cannon. So Jen's archer, he has one archer in the whole place. This guy right here, in safety, couldn't be hurt. Behind, you know, fires, pew! Kills my archer. I've just lost my second unit in the game. And this defense has gotten a little bit weaker. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, kapew! Uh, but I think it's still five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, everything's still fine. These guys are going to get owned. Um, and Jen knew that. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, oh, I'm supposed to reveal the... Uh, I forget, when do I reveal the orders? D -t -t. Assault, assault. Or no, they, they get ordered after all the decisions are made, aren't they? I think they do. I think that's what it is. Orders. In very place, any number of order tiles are upside down, become uncovered during the assault. All right, so they got uncovered at the beginning. So this, actually, this was actually the first thing that happened. My orders happened. So actually, oh, my orders happened first. Okay, things are a little bit different then. Sorry. So my orders happened first. I revealed that this was, so boom, these two guys died. And both these walls are gone. So there's two less defense, but four less offense. So that order happened. This order happened. It was the orc thing. So the, my, that troll never got a chance to die. He got pulled up before the cannon could ever fire at him. And this one, which was removed, this one was, it turns out, this was the goblin one. So if Jen hadn't removed this one, this one would have been a plus three. So there would have been um, three, four, five, six. And it really wouldn't have been that big a deal. So this is probably the one Jen shouldn't have done. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I wasn't necessarily thinking that strong. Anyway, so the orders have happened. And now, th now because the orders have happened, when I shot the cannon, I couldn't kill the troll because he was gone. So I killed this goblin instead, which means the goblin never fired at my guy. So I've still got one guy up there. Okay, so that's how that worked out. Sorry, I was a little bit off about the orders. Been a while since I played the game. I had that order slightly wrong. Anyway, though, so continuing. So we did the orders first. My wall blew up, as did two orcs. I'm completely defenseless here. Um, a fourth troll got pulled up, but a goblin frenzy was denied. Probably should have canceled this one instead. Whatever. Uh, anyways, that's 12, 10, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Only one point of damage is going to get through. So we're fine. We're fine. We're in trouble, but we're fine. Okay. So uh, my cannons have fired. Jen's things have fired. We've just done all the archery. So this guy, even though he's alive, he doesn't get to shoot because he's tied up. So he doesn't get to shoot. Jen's archery, he died. Because, you know, this protection didn't stop a cannon shot. So that archer died, and now we move on to melee, we can do them in any order. Let's do the simple ones first. No melee, no melee. Uh, no melee, no melee. Okay, let's just come. Right, let's, let's do them. All right. Uh, all right, let's do it. Okay, so there is three, four, five, six, seven. 
six five four three two one. Right, because each one of these guys is a three. Because right, let me double check that. Let me check the officer orders. Uh, or officer. Plus one to every unit just for being there. So because the officer was here, these guys were two ones. And because I put a speech, it was plus one more, so they were three ones. So this is basically, I have a total defense here of six on this wall. Uh, or a, you know, a total attack of six. But Jen has three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. So Jen wins. She has done one point of damage to my defenders. Which means, this guy, he had a lot of offense, but he had no defense. He just died. So I've now lost my second guy. And this, but fortunately, I absorbed all the damage. If Jen had done more damage and killed this guy, and then there'd been more damage, I would have lost right now. But this guy is holding it all by himself. I guarantee you, first thing next turn, I have to reinforce this place badly. Of course, I'm going to put a wall up automatically. I'm going to try and move people over. It's scary, but, but you know, this one brave archer with the officer, you know, shouting rousing speeches into his ear, Held the wall. My gosh. Okay. Against a troll and two orcs. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Moving on. Let's come over here. Let's look at this guy. This one turned out not to be so bad. This is where I canceled the order. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. All right. Three, four. Has a total of four attack. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's a difference of four. That means I do four damage to the attackers. One taken there. Two, three, four. I killed both of them. And, you know, Jen says, that's no problem. That was all a distraction. Man, maybe it was. Uh, maybe it wasn't smart. But anyway, this wall is totally fine. These guys held it. No problem. And it's true. It was a distraction. Because I had to move these guys over here, which means I couldn't have moved over here, which means this wall is about to fall because Jen was pushed on three spaces. This place, she's totally fine. I am far from fine over here. Okay, now the last one. 12 attack. And by the way, there are 12. Count them. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, there are 12 or I'm sorry, four orcs on the wall, or trolls on the wall, which means Jen has scored another victory point because she, there was, everyone sings in songs and hymns the day the four trolls attacked the wall. Let's see what happened. 12 versus 12. 11, 10, 9, 7, or, 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 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, all my defenses... We're able to stop. Only one point of damage got through. Unfortunately, again, I have to round it up. So this new guy who just came out of training um, and ran up over the little thing I got, he died. And, but the wall is still strong. So end result, I think, what was it? Two of my guys have died? Maybe three? And, um, and uh, I've got a big problem here. These guys are going to continue pounding because they're not gone. They're going to continue pounding over and over and over again until I can do more damage to them. And meanwhile, this is a big gaping hole. And that is the end of the second day. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Things are looking dire. But it's the end of the day. So we do our normal cleanup. I've gotten one more glory. Right now, the score is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're still tied. Although, don't forget, when Jen successfully breaches, she'll immediately score three points at least. So, yeah, things are bad. I might have to start using some of my, I might have to start dishonoring myself, losing some points to buy myself some more time, to buy myself, because the things I can do, I can buy myself more time with negotiation. I can basically do a sec, I can do actions twice instead of once per day. This is the coolest one. I can open up the prisons and let the prisoners fight, which gives me another veteran and another soldier. It's the only way I can get more workers. And what's the other one? Oh, what's the other one? Um, ba 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 ba. Where are you? Um, it is somewhere on this little cheat sheet, isn't it? Oh my goodness, uh, channel negotiation. Oh, barricades. I can. I get plus four hourglasses that I can use in the workshop to desperately, basically, make wooden walls. So that's the thing. I mean, next turn, I am going to make a, a wall here. I get that for free. I might use the desperate barricade so I can get four hourglasses, which would let me, I mean, immediately for free, get some more wood on here. So that means I've got three defense again, and then I can spend the rest of the time moving my ways over there. But this is a war of attrition. These guys will still stand. They'll slowly lose against these, but I'd like to turn the tide and get enough people over here. So I might move my warrior over here. But anyway, that'll be next turn. Anyway, so, sorry. 
I was thinking about what happens. I'm not doing any of that stuff right yet. So it's the end of the day. Um, Jen's got two more goblins into the sacrifice, and he's 12 there. These guys are all gone. These guys are gone. And what can I do again now? I have, oh, whoops. I forgot I need to put this over here, but now I can cancel an order again. I can build a platform again. I can do a goblin trap again, and I can build a cannon again. And I've taken the, what's it? So at the beginning of the next day, Jen gets 14 more. Well, well actually, I think, I think the tide has turned. I think Jen has decided to go into overdrive because she's hit me hard. The beginning of the next turn, before it, before it starts, um, before anybody gets anything, Jen can choose to flip any of these cards. And I think she will. I think she is going to flip this card, which means she is not going to build anything more for the rest of the game. But now whenever she wants to give me two hourglasses, she can pull two cards instead of one when firing one of her siege machines. She's going to flip this. She's not building anything. She doesn't need any more wood. She draws 16 people a turn now. She's still got wood though, so she's going to keep these because this will let her get some banners, which will let her do more damage. This will let her do more defense. She might build some more bridges if she needs it, so she's not going to flip that. And I think she's going to flip this because this thing lets her pay me an hourglass to move this archery around. So I could be all prepared for goblins here, but then suddenly, boom, the goblins are over here. The goblins are over there. So she can move that around. And this one, if she flips this, she can start giving me an hourglass to bring goblins back from the dead. But she's going to keep this. She wants to keep on, she might start, she's probably going to sacrifice more goblins this turn. She'll put the bloodstone out. She's also going to put a storm out so that it'll be harder for me to move people over here because it's the storm. And, um, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, wait, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. The guys who died in that melee strike, they went to the hospital. Right now, what was it? Yeah, a green died over there, and a green died over here, and I think maybe some more died too, but two greens died, they went to the hospital, and the hospital saved them. So I haven't lost two guys. Things are not as bad as I thought. I, they're still available. If, but unfortunately, if, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of panic. There's, a, there's another spell I can do called panic, where if there's ever two or, or one or more thing in here, um, I lose guys because Jen makes my people panic if there's too many people in the courtyard. But anyway, so yeah, the hospital saved these guys. I totally forgot about that. Oopsie. And so I've got some guys to move around. So Jen's not going to flip that. And then this doesn't flip. So things have changed. Jen is going to go hardcore into driving hard mode. She is going to push the advantage. She is going to push this. She is going to push that. She is going to shoot at me. There's another thing I got to deal with over here. And you know, whilst all that's going on, she might move these orcs up here to reinforce this. Or she might surprise me and do a double move and come up over here. I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do. But we're going to stop right there because the game has just started and it is getting very interesting. And it's been an hour and seven minutes and my thing says I only have three minutes left before my battery goes dead. So anyway, that was a nice extended play of Stronghold. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I think oh, maybe I, I'm, I'll take a look. If this game is going to end in another turn, I'll, I'll have an end game uh, show up for you. But if it's going to drag on a little while, because I think I can probably scrape back. Because again, I'm desperate, right? I'm desperate. I could, I could start, I could buy myself some more time. I could build barricades. I could do double actions. I could get more guys. I never talked about it. I could also remove the honor guard. These two guys, if I never move them from, you know, the honor guard where, you know, they guard the flag, if I leave them here, when I get to turn six, they will start earning me glory points every turn. But if I ever move them away, then that's gone. But these are two soldiers that I might desperately need to fight on a wall somewhere. So anyway, I've still got options, Jen's got options. I don't think it'll be over next turn because I will be able, if, as long as I dip into my honor and lose some points, I'll be able to, to come back from this big, big push and, um, you know, and we'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm stopping there because yes, my, the light is blinking at me now. So final thoughts time guys in five, four, three, two, one. Thanks everybody.